What is up you sexy YouTube mother lovers? Now, when we did our video on the 9x39 VSS Ventores, a lot of you guys kept asking, Brandon, how does this compare to the American 300 Blackout? Especially since 9x39 isn't something that's super available here in the US, but 300 Blackout is. I thought that was an interesting question. Interesting enough that I thought that, you know, that might be worth coming out here to the range and doing a little testing with. So then I realized something kind of embarrassing. I don't actually own a suppressed 300 blackout. So I call up one of my anti-gun friends who did. Oh, hi Brandon, how hi, are you? How are you doing? Five? Okay, good. Sweet. I, uh, I brought out my SIG Rattler today. You know, got the Silencer Co. suppressor on there, the Leupold LCO. I, I think this is gonna, I think this is gonna take the cake. I'm an we'll AR. See if it, uh, we'll see if it beats out the, uh, the VSS. It's so much more prettier. I, I'm an AR guy, you know that. I don't hold it against you though. Okay, well. Do you wanna we'll snap see. us into a montage? Uh, yeah, I think I could do that. Hmm. <laughs> I like that. It's very uh, non-supported. Yeah, it's uh, it, you really feel the recoil of the gun. Ah! <laughs> 360 no scope. That's remarkably close. Yeah, urban defense. Yes. That one was way low. That was a cool ass sound in ricochet though. It's the, the great part about shooting suppressed is you can hear the ricochets. It's epic. Oh yeah, we, we, have to, we have to film the video, don't we? We should probably do that. So why are we comparing the 300 Blackout and the 9x39 in the first place? Well, they're both rounds that are meant to be shot suppressed with a similar purpose behind both. 300 Blackout is a 5.56 cartridge necked up to 30 caliber, whereas 9x39 was a 30 caliber cartridge necked up to be 9 millimeter. The reason for that is you can use an existing casing, but necking it up to a bigger bullet, a bigger diameter bullet, allows you to get more mass in the projectile itself, while also lowering the velocity to be subsonic. So while you're going to be losing energy by lowering the velocity, obviously, down below a thousand feet per second or so, you're gaining mass, which is going to help offset that. So what we're going to do to demonstrate the amount of energy that both actually have is, well, we're going to shoot some stuff. We got some uh, big red here, because, uh, if you don't like big red, fuck you. So first up, we're gonna be shooting 300 blackout. You see, we do things very scientific around here. We've got our uh, very consistent scientific grade big red targets. I mean, I, this is, I, I feel very, I feel like I need a lab coat, it's so scientific, so. Really, I mean, we're almost reaching above our <laughs> intellect here, but I think you can handle it. We'll be right. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. All right, firing in three, two, one. Oh, we got a squirter. Oh, I was gonna try to get some out of there in the air. <laughs> yeah. I think it went through it. I think so. Ooh. I've never acted so girly running from soda before. <laughs> Where is it? You have the, di the diabetes now. That's Yeah, that's really yeah. sugary. You also might have lead poisoning. No, you need to like drink at least four fluid ounces of big red that's been shot by a 300 blackout to get lead poisoning. That's don't our next video. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's try it with 9 by 39. Fighting the war on obesity in three, two, one. Oh yeah. Good bit of energy there. Yeah, so that one had a little bit of oomph to it. That was the first one. Yeah, it's not like it hit way harder on that second one. Split it up. Oh, yeah, that's nice and good. I'll also do a cheers. Big red is fucking disgusting. So yeah, even comparatively, this is the first one, and then those are the second one in the lineup. So it split it way more. Yeah. 
I should call her. The reason why you were able to see a little bit more energy in the 9x39 is because you have, again, a bigger diameter bullet while they're both going the same velocity. So you get a little bit more mass in the 9x39, whereas what we're using today, I think, is a mixture of like 245 grain and 278 grain, whereas the 300 blackout is a 220 grain. Still a hefty projectile, but not quite as much mass as you're able to get out of the 9x39. So, science, you accidentally learned something today. So now we're gonna get real good and scientific with it, but first, an ad break. So you may not have noticed, but I've actually carried a gun on me this entire video so far. This gun, to be exact. This is my everyday carry Glock 19 that I carry in my LAS concealment holster. They're an awesome sponsor of the channel, so if you wanna check them out, click the links down in the description and in the pinned comment. So what I have here is probably the most actual scientific thing we've ever done on the fucking channel. <laughs> and I got a real uh, decibel meter. And uh, I don't know how this thing quite Woo! works. It works, it works. That was over 100 decibels. I'm, I'm pretty much a doctor now. I, I feel... I, I, Scientist. I, I feel like we're breaking new ground. I'm thoroughly curious your opinion on which one's going to be louder. Do you think your 3.9 is? The 300 blackout might be at a slight disadvantage because you do have a shorter suppressor on it. Mm. So I'm not sure, but we will be able to find out. So what we're going to do is we're going to fire three rounds with the 300 blackout and we're going to fire three rounds with the 9x39. What this will allow me to do is see what the maximum decibels were out of the three shots. And then we can get the actual data off the computer later, hopefully. And the business, we call this foreshadowing. I mean, I'm gonna purposely not shoot steel in case, in case that messes with it, but. Yeah, uh, that's probably a good idea because we're actually like, I don't know how well it comes across on camera, but we are dealing with guns that are so quiet that the steel is oftentimes, depending on how close you are to the steel, louder than the actual gunshot. Yeah. All right, super scientific shot number one. Number two. Interesting, so what I found out is that this is most likely not a correct reading, but it'll still be good for comparison because it is saying right now that is 116 decibels. Oh. Which, that would be incredible. It is definitely not. It yeah. is hearing safe, but yeah. That definitely ain't right. So we'll figure it out. We will compare the two now that we've got it on the same setting and uh, we'll at least be able to see which one is louder. Cause right now it is reading at the max was 93 decibels. Oh, no. Which, no, your yell was louder than that guy. Yeah, according agreed. To this. So that's, that's not a thing. It's not an exact science. It is an exact science. It's not an exact science when you put it in my hand. The comparison will be exact science. Exactly. So I'm just not gonna fuck with this. Switcheroo? Yeah, switcheroo if you don't mind. So now we're gonna use the VSS for the decibel reading for 9x39. We're actually using a uh, kind of rare uh, thir uh, 29 round AS Val mag just to kind of change things up a little bit. If you're wondering, you were talking in uh, 62 decibels. Okay. Oh, I was actually very curious. <laughs> I kind of talk loud. That's what my mama says. Get right here. Sorry, I'm hitting you with every fucking round. It's okay. It was like a love tap. 92.2 um, is the reading on that. Really? Okay, so it's actually lower. Huh. It sounds lower. Even standing next to it comparatively to being on this gun, it sounds like less. I think it has to do with the can too, because the can is pretty short, because this has got an integrally suppressed barrel with a lot of baffles and stuff like that going on. Whereas that one, that's a pro, that's, I mean, it's probably a good can. I mean, it's a great can considering how quiet it is without short it is. But. You know, I'd be curious though, if we took my integrally suppressed bolt gun and, and shot it to see if it's similar to that. Well, if you brought it out, let's... It's, it's back in the truck. I'll let's go grab it. Let's find out some redneck right. science. Yeah. Yeehaw! Yeah, the, the cool part about this one, it's integrally suppressed. And so it's part of the, it's like a monolithic system. You can see the baffles built right into the barrel. That's rad. Pretty cool. Yeah, so that is what a modern integrally suppressed barrel looks like. The VSS is a little simpler. Uh, it's got just a couple holes drilled in the barrels and then some baffles past that. Our VSS is more complicated than the original. Really? The original VSS, um, the suppressor, of course it still had the holes drilled in the barrel and everything, you know, kind of bleed off right. and, and you know everything into the can, but the original suppressor was just like three bent washers inside of it. Really? Yeah, it's pretty bad. You got the new new then? Yeah, exactly. It's uh, the same, same, but different. I'm gonna say this is gonna be quieter. I'm gonna say it's gonna be a lot quieter.
Okay, so that first one was definitely a super. It sounded like it. It wasn't, it was all the same ammunition. I'm wondering really? if the cold bore had something to play with that, because that was significantly louder, that first shot, comparative to the second two. A ton. That was weird. Yeah, first round pop. Exact kind of same ammunition. Really? Exact same ammunition, I checked that, yeah. Well, that's not gonna throw us off either, uh, because I forgot to hit max. <laughs> Before the first round, after okay. the first round, I hit it, and we are coming in at 88.3. Oh, it was quieter. There is no way in shit, by the way, that these are accurate readings, but they're accurate to whatever this is set to. So, uh, Jay, please fucking forgive me. I know this is fucking grinding your gears right now, but we're not that scientific, okay? We just, we act like it. We, we try. We don't try. Hey there, guys. Future Brandon here. So I plugged in the decibel reader here into my computer, and I'm looking at the data charts now, and I've come to an important conclusion. Sound doesn't actually exist. It's merely a figment of our imagination. Now, seriously, the data that is shown here on this chart is actually different than the data that we were being displayed from the device itself while we were at the range. It's also capped at 130 decibels, which is way too quiet for what we're looking for. Why is that? So when I was looking to buy a decibel reader that would read up to 170 decibels, this is the one that came up. It was expensive and highly recommended and even recommended for the purpose of measuring gunshots. And it's called the CM170. 170, 170 decibels, sounds good to me. It doesn't, it doesn't, it, it is capped at 130 decibels. The fucking manual shows 180, 180 decibels right there. I. So basically my effort in going above and beyond for this episode to give you top quality content instead of just saying, oh, this is quieter, oh, this is louder. This is what I fucking get. This, this decibel reader is really expensive, like 351. Fucking useless. Doesn't doesn't fucking work. Uh, sound isn't real. Enjoy the video. So we've gone through muzzle energy. We've gone through how they both sound. Now the most important test: sex appeal. It's kind of all about the sex appeal. 100%. I mean, for for me, honestly, like you know, this platform, this setup is awesome. I love the Rattler. It's one of the best blackouts I've ever shot. But it's like fairly consistent with other AR platform builds. So it's it, it you, you know it's a black rifle. You, you shot say. one. You shot a black rifle, right? And, yeah. Uh, this is cool. I actually am going to ask you to run a couple rounds through that after this. Yeah, that's dude, okay. absolutely. As long as it doesn't, you know, kill itself like it's done a couple of other times. Fuck. But she's running pretty good today, so she'll probably behave for you. But uh, I guess we leave it up to the comments, because this, you know, sex appeal is a pretty subjective thing. So, do you like the Rattler kind of look? The, the, the American 300 Blackout kind of AR platform look? Or do you like just the classic Soviet Woodstock kind of uh, kind of sex appeal it's the question there are no wrong answers except no. for the wrong answers so <laughs> so now the part that's gonna matter the most for you guys cost and availability well for you guys who are watching here in the States um, for everybody else it's pretty much zero and zero but the US is awesome and if you don't agree with that then you've probably had oil in your country at some point but what is the cost and availability like on a 300 blackout 300 Blackout is pretty common to be able to find in the average American gun store, pawn shop, in some places still Walmart. Occasionally you can get some of the cheap shit for under a dollar a round, but usually you're looking at about a dollar to two dollars, that kind of range. 300 Black will of course run just fine in AR-15 magazines, typical AR lower, that was why it was designed. So you can just swap the upper, throw it on, and then start running 300 Blackout. All together, really not that hard to get your hands on. Now we have 9x39. Um, as you can probably tell, there's not that many VSSs here in the country. In fact, it's probably double, if not single digits. A couple of custom builders, uh, like ourselves, have also built AKs chambered in 9x39. The most common thing you'll probably see is the run of 9x39 AR uppers that came out a couple of years ago. That is not that many guns. Finding a gun chambered in 9x39 here in the United States is kind of a feat. The reason being is the caliber is still kind of new to the US. It was just starting to enter the country a couple of years ago, and then, well, of course, a couple months ago, we got an import ban. So 9x39 prices that were never really that cheap in the first place, they were like a dollar, dollar and a half a round, have gone up to like three to four dollars a round. So this is not exactly the most economic platform available for suppressed shooting here in the States. So when it comes to cost and availability, unfortunately, it's kind of hard to debate that the VSS and 9x39 kind of takes the L. So 
while the 300 Blackout is probably a better option for you guys as far as availability, cost, you know, everything like that, in the US at least, I think it's kind of cool to at least give a shout out to the 9x39. Because while 300 Blackout is definitely kind of like the new bee's knees, 9x39 came out in roughly the mid 80s, whereas 300 Blackout didn't come around until 2010, 2011. So for being 30 years earlier, they were really kind of ahead of their time on this whole thing. So while it's, this may be the new hotness, you know. It's, it's, it's like your YouTube channel. You're like, you're the up and coming hot, you know, you got like this silky perfect hair and I'm like the, the old school OG Snoop Dogg uh, YouTuber. So we still pay homage to tradition, you know, the, <laughs> the old guard, the, the older dogs, the, the old men, the, now the I just, older. I just want to get Martha Stewart to shoot machine guns <laughs> with me. That's what I want. Do you think she'd do that? Uh, I don't know, Martha, you out there? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Martha watches the channel, of course. Of course. So anyways, guys, I appreciate you staying with us to the end of the video. And as always, I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. Fear is my obsession to make the perfect weapon like us put his eyes to the top. But I can't let you can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop. So the reason, and I'm glad this kind of came across on camera the way it did, um, get the fucking big red out of my beard. She could bake us post-range pies. I'm still post thinking he's going to shoot me in the head for those old comments. What? Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. I may. I'm enjoying it. Like, again, I'm like, you know, I'm Snoop Dogg. You don't know what I'm up to. I might go do some crazy stuff once in a while, but here I am in your channel. Thank you. You've already you've completed the main quest, and you're just doing side quests. Just side quests now in life, yeah. The next quest is building us some sunshade for this damn range out here at the Black Rifle Range. So kind of nice. It's like a 100 degree heat in index today. I sweat through my shirt in like the first, I don't know, probably three minutes of video. Yeah. It's all right. Um, it's like a sauna. It's God sauna. Well, dude, I appreciate you hanging out. Appreciate Thanks, you man. being on the range with us. And uh, Yeah. You know, for an anti-gun dude, you're pretty all right. <laughs>